Speaking of BYU basketball and their senior point guard, we are now joined by BYU men's basketball assistant coach Cody Feger on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline via Zoom. Cody, first and foremost, uh, happy June 1st. Facilities are open back up. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, I'm feeling great. Fired up. Uh, I know these guys are uh, excited to get back in this gym here, so it's, uh, it's great to be back. How will life change for you as a coach and just as a human being knowing that your facilities are opening back up and it, and it feels like some things are trending towards getting back to quote unquote normal. Uh, the, the best part about it is probably with our staff zoom calls. I enjoyed those every once in a while, but it's good that we're going to be able to talk in person now and kind of, kind of get that going. Cause you know, say we were calling a recruit one day and then we'd have to call everybody in staff and say kind of all the information and all that kind of stuff was going on. But, I'm really happy to be back in here. Are you an expert at Zoom now? Oh, I, I got it down. My my <laughs> my daughter showed me all the tricks on the background. I can I can I can change it up even more than this, guys. I got so many tricks up my sleeve here. Do you want to just change it right now? The virtual background. Let's see what else you got. <laughs> let's see, let's right. see what you have. Yeah, let's get something this is else. The, this is the other one that I use right here all the time. <laughs> Oh, okay. nice, the video. Oh, I yeah, love it. That's good. I love it. That's going to be incredibly distracting. <laughs> those, those, are, those are my main two right there. And yeah. This is my favorite it's one beautiful. just because because nothing's better than having old Zach Selyus in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pointing right at you. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, there was a Deseret News article on Jesse Wade by Jeff Call that was really cool. We've, we've heard Mark Pope say, he's running the Y every day, and I'm like, every day? Like, that's crazy. No, that's what he's actually doing, right? To strengthen his knee, strengthen his, his quad. He's had multiple issues, and hopefully we see the full Jesse Wade because this guy, this guy used to be the best player in Utah, went to a program that went to the final four and here he is uh, kind of an untapped resource at BYU. Yeah, no, we're, we're really excited about Jesse. You know, he's hungry, he's working hard. Um, but yeah, he's, he's up there every single day at the Y and uh, you know, I know, um, you know, he, he's, he's doing everything he can with coach uh, or, or our trainer, Rob Ramos. He's seeing him every day. You know, th this kid is putting all the effort in to get, get back on this, uh, uh, deal. He wants to be a huge part this year. He's a, he's a great kid. He's working really hard. All right, Cody, let's say the best happens and Jesse is able to get back to 100% or close to 100% and he can be a factor for your team. What do you envision his role being? Because we are looking at an entirely different roster with tons of size and not all of the crazy three-point shooting, at least we don't think. So what, what is his role on this team if he is 100% or close to that? So I think his role is just to get better every day, like all of our guys. Um, you know, we don't have, like you said, our, we had a big turnover in roster and things like that. So, so it's a little different being on this side now staring at you guys because I'm going kind of side to side here. Usually I just got to turn and you guys are both to my side. So this is awesome just <laughs> looking at you guys. But, um, <laughs> but no, J Jesse, um, I think he's going to have a big part, right? I mean, he, this is his third or fourth year in college basketball, and he's been at a great program. So, you know, I think he'll have some type of a leadership role, I, you know. And just on, on the court, I think he's just going to have – there's going to be times during the year where we're going to be calling his name, and he's going to have a huge part, you know. Um, we, we love what Jesse brings to this program. Last year going into the season, you had Colby Lee, and that was kind of it in the front court, right? Gavin Baxter was hurt, and Yoli Childs was suspended for nine games. Yet this year you go in um, and you have four dudes, all of which could play a ton of minutes, uh, and you're super deep in the front court. How does that change the offensive and, and perhaps defensive philosophy, if at all? Uh, I mean, it, it, it will change a couple things, you know, because we will have a, a lot more rim protection this year, you know, as long as everyone stays healthy that way. So maybe our guards can pressure a little bit more in the front court, things like that defensively. And then offensively, you know, we'll, 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 you know, during the whole year, even last year, we kind of just changed and manipulated things specifically um, offensively just to help out Yoli, Jake, TJ, all those guys, Alex, you know, all, all, all the different rotations that we had. Um, so we're, we're going to change a couple of things, but it, it'll be nice that 
Alex coming off a ball screen, he can throw it up high to big Matt Harms and Gavin Baxter and big Colby Lee with his big quick finishes. Um, you know, we got Wyatt Lowell coming in this year who can really shoot the three. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have everybody um, re ready to go offensively and defensively. And, yeah, we're excited. Describe to me a little bit about Wyatt Lowell's game in terms of his ability to handle the ball. We know he can shoot. Um, he seems like a, a modern-day awesome stretch four, stretch five kind of guy if you want to go small, right? What's – like, can he play the three, or is he more of a stretch four? I think he can play some three, but I think um, uh, um, how will manipulate the offense, he'll be able to play the four too, right? Um, but like Jake Toulson, when we were coaching him, he started at the four for us at UVU. Like he was our starting four. And then when he came over to BYU, he was our starting two. So just with however, whatever we need to do with our offense, we'll, we'll call players different numbers all the time, but, but why can really shoot the three and he's been working on his ball handling every day and his passing um, and his relentless rebounding. Like those are the kind of the main things we're hitting Wyatt on just because you already can really shoot it, but he's got to get better every day at those other three things. BYU basketball assistant coach Cody Fieger on BYU sports nation. It's been fun and interesting to follow uh, the really just the relentless pursuit of transfers in the transfer portal on social media coach. And uh, I know that we're limited in what we can say in terms of names until things become official. You got Matt Harms last year. Jake Toulson was a huge get. Alex Barcelo was a huge get. We just talked about Richard Howard and Wyatt Lowell. You got Gideon George. I mean, this is quickly becoming a transfer university uh, at BYU, but how would you explain uh, the emotions of recruiting in the transfer portal at a time right now when uh, you've had your hands in the game, but you've watched a couple of high profile guys choose other programs. I mean, it's, it's really emotional, you know, it's, it's so up and down. Um, but like, let's say like a guy like Dallin Hall, who was a two, three year recruitment, right. That we put so much time and so much effort and, and things like that. And then sometimes with these transfer guys, it's like a two week window, you know, maybe even sometimes a week window, but you're putting in, you know, seven days a week, you're putting in 80 hours just on one player. So it is, it is really emotional. Um, but, but, you know, as soon as he says, no, you just got to get on and get on to the next guy. Right. Or if he says, yes, it just depends. But, but, uh, like we try not to get too emotional about it. We try not to just because it's so important just to, you know, cause there's going to be more guys coming in and out of this thing. And, and, uh, but, I, but we do like going on this transfer portal. I just hit refresh right before I jumped on here with you guys, actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ever-changing. Do, do you feel like uh, the roster still needs another guy, whether it's a, a sit this year? Hopefully it could play, obviously. But d does this team, and it looks like there's still a scholarship available, do you still need a guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we're still on this thing 24-7. We're, we're going to find another one or two guys that are going to help help this program for sure this year. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're on it. We're on it. Cody, does, and, uh, yeah, I, I guess my question is, does it need to, because from where Jeremy and I stand, we look at the amount of size this team has and it's like, all right, well, maybe they're a little bit light in the guard category. Does, is, are you specifically targeting a, a guard a, or a combo guard, somebody that can handle the ball? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We're, we're looking for one more guy that can come in, handle the ball, come off a ball screen, make the right play. Um, that will help this program go. Yeah, no, no question. We're, we're in it for a guard right now. Cody, I've said this a couple times, but I just flashed back a, you know, a little over a year ago. BYU didn't make the NIT. Dave Rose retires, and it just feels weird around here, right? Here we are a year later, and we're talking about recruiting the highest level guys uh, nationally. You got one of those in Matt Harms. Others have, have really given BYU a legit shot that they would not have probably a year ago or even, even a couple years ago. Can you describe to us what it took in the last year to, to get the program to where it's at the forefront of the college basketball conversation? Um, I mean, BYU is such an incredible you know, legacy and, and, and has everything. So it's, it's really easy to sell the recruits, things like that. Um, but, you know, for, for us specifically, since we got here over a year ago, you know, coach Pope is 
we talk about every day. He's, he's just been relentless every single day, pushing every little part of our program um, just, to, just to get it here. Um, and, and these guys have all bought in and, and been all about everything that Coach Bob's been talking about, right? And, and our, our administration has been unbelievable. Like we're one of the first programs to uh, let people, let our players get back into the gym. So like everybody's just on the same kind of thing, all, all chasing the same thing. Our fans, come on, man. It, it's been unbelievable. Our fans jumping in with everything whether it be recruiting or, or whatever, like, you know, just, just all the things that we're able to sell and, and, you know, everything kind of going together. It's just been, it's been awesome. You know, these players all came together, you know, our fans are all coming together. We got you guys jumping in on board, even talking about the transfer portal and, and wanting to jump in here. Um, I'm not going to transfer to be clear. I'm staying here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not transferring. <laughs> so yeah no it's it's just I, it's been everything everything's come together and it's it's been it's been unbelievable cody we appreciate the time we're thrilled that you get to be back in the facilities and uh that your guys have a place to come and work out and that things are trending towards getting back to normal uh we congratulate you on a job well done thus far and we know that uh you're clearly excited about what's to come and we can't wait to talk about it and discuss it as uh, those things develop sounds great Appreciate you guys. You got it. Cody yeah, see, Fieger. See you on Y Mountain. Yeah. Y Mountain. Let's run up it. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Figure on the Desert First Credit Union Hotline. Desert First, you know why we show how. Let's not run up Y Mountain. Walking. Yeah. AKA hiking. <laughs>